so like already when you're drilling it, like Tom, it just keep difficult. Like you don't need to spar, you don't have to try to sweep them, right? But like, like, okay. okay, so just go ahead and drill your wrap, right? Okay, cool, go ahead. Oh, cool, right, and go back. Okay, so now we're still drilling, right? Okay, but now go ahead. Those are useful reps now, right? Like you thought you were hitting the cut, but you weren't, right? because there was mistakes off, right? So I wasn't sparring, I wasn't trying to beat you. Yeah. I was being difficult, right? But you have to have that in those reps. If you guys just do that, like I know I tell you guys to drill and specific training all the time, but like I really have to go through that process with you. If you just do that over and over and over, you can literally just be embedding a super bad habit that's wrong, right? right. So, so like, like what, what happens is you start drilling now, you might do it two or three times in a row, do the cut again. Right? There's something off that's causing that, right? So by drilling with like the lighter resistance like that, yeah. it's immediately you're like something's off and you're gonna correct what's off, right? If you don't do that, then you may not correct anything or realize there's a problem, right? So let's look at it one more time. So we're gonna do the cut. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so we'll do enough. You're cutting too lateral. You're going sideways, right? The key for the cut, especially in daily Hiva, I need to get you centered, right? And my knee needs to go up the center. There's too much friction going this way. So you feel more like he just kind of tight, right? I have to open this and I like to try to push it back too, right? Okay? But you feel more like this way yeah. than this hits, right? I'm more up, right? So I can't do it in slow motion, but I'm like centering you. Mm -hmm. See, and I, I lift this foot up because it moves me to the center. My knee goes up this way, almost like it's going to go through the air, right? So when I'm here, keep it kind of tight and difficult, right? like this. You see what my hand posts up here? Mm -hmm. okay. But make sure you have that resistance on the comic, otherwise he's not going to melt. and sometimes it's just that you're doing that pass wrong, mm -hmm. right? And it's always hard to tell, especially if you don't have me yet, like you're, oh, you're doing this wrong, right? But you have to go through that process yourself, right? There's no shortcut for learning. So you need to sit there and like try the knee cut different ways, like assuming that I wasn't here to tell you, right? You know, you may need to try the knee cut different ways, like maybe my pressure's wrong, maybe it's like this, maybe it's like that. You're gonna have to mess with it to figure it out. And then sometimes you might have to like really take a step back and think like maybe this isn't the right time for the guy. Maybe if he's like this, I need to do this instead, right? right? Now, in this case, I think your cut's just off and we'll correct it. Mm -hmm. But like, you have to be like kind of sparring with the resistance and then trying to like think more abstract about what's the solution for this problem, right? Yeah. And then for the person on bottom, try to keep, be difficult, but be difficult in the same way. Like yeah. every single time, be like, like yeah. hand, do some, you know, you try, so you're drilling, but like you need to kind of give resistance, but like allow it to be similar so that he's getting the same feedback, right? So I think probably the biggest thing, kind of this way, kind of not where you're going. Yeah, probably the biggest thing is when you're hitting this cut, your arm needs to track here. Okay. You're going here, and I think you're shooting more out. Like this, you're gonna hit this shield, right? You want this arm to go here, because it helps block the shield, and I'm gonna catch this underhook, like that, right? So I go here, you see how that's harder to hit? And my upper body rotates to the right. Yeah. Right, that puts pressure here, and then I'm gonna pull and hit here. Now he may or may not let go of the pants, that's fine. Right, but then I'll be able to dig through the position, right? So I'm here, right, I open and I lift this foot. You see, that makes it lighter. Go one more rep, rep and then we'll rotate. And it's one last one. Here, and... Yeah, it looks better, but I, I, your, your arm, 
was better, the right underhook. Yeah. But your body, if you look at it, you went like this, it should be, you should be rotating your upper body to the right. Yeah. Do it one more time. Yeah, much better. Don't rush the finish though. Just take your time. Once you get that underhook, just take your time. What I will see the different, you, like you said, you make it that central. I feel like I, you hit the knee on my chest and then we go into the side. Yeah. He's doing directly. He's, he's going directly sideways. Yeah. It's because a lot of people learn to cut like this. That's not like a good. shin yeah. cut, right? Yeah. But you just have to cut at you. It should be more. Uh, and even if I'm doing it from like open guard, which is a bit different, like if I have the pants or something, still it's up, right? If I go this way, I'm just yanking this into me. I want to be forward. Now it's easier. Whatever finish variation I use to come here. I want to get chest to chest in the end. Yeah. 